Greetings, Internet Scholars. Welcome to a very special episode of Twisted Signals. Today I am going to hand things over to Twisted Signals All-Star Carlos Ortega, who will be doing another sonification project using data that's harnessed from the web using Node.js. Carlos built a synthesizer that is controlled by stock market data, and now he will show us how. Hey guys, Carlos Ortega here. Today I'm going to show you how I got stock market information to make sounds within Max. So first I have to make sure that sound is turned on and I'm going to set the RAM time. So how long it takes for one value to go to the next value. I'm just going to click the set RAM button to actually activate it. And then I'm going to press get data to actually see how it sounds. Okay, so the first thing you see is the data gets visualized in this multi-slider as a graph, and also down here in these set of pixels as luminance values. So these values are getting turned into a signal with this line, signa, line, line tilde object, and we're using send and receive to use that signal in different controls. The first control is for the oscillator, so we're using a sawtooth wave, and we're using the signal to affect the frequency of the sawtooth wave. Here, we're using the signal to adjust the distortion, how much distortion, using two overdrive objects. Over here, we're controlling the tremolo, amplitude modulation. Here, we're using the signal to control the speed of the tremolo, and here, the amount of the tremolo. Over here, we're using the signal for the reverb time, and Lastly, we're just turning the volume way down and using a normalized tilde object to set to control volume. Once you think you've turned the volume down, as you can see over here, it can get really, really loud without you knowing it. So normalize takes care of that. And we're outputting that into a DAC. Okay, let's take a look at the Node.js file. So. We are using the Alpha Vantage API to get the stock data, to the stock information. And in order for this to work properly, you need an Alpha Vantage key to take that information from the internet. That key needs to be stored in a file named alphavantagekey.json stored within the same folder as this Max file in order to work properly, in order for Max to find that key. So then we're taking the key and using it to, for, to authorize the data. Over here, we're storing the RAM time and the initial frequencies, and we're using these two methods to actually update them using these message boxes in the max patch. Down here, we're getting the stock data information in JSON format and giving it to this function to transform into a list. That list is then getting outputted from the node.script outlet to be interpreted by all of these oscillators and graphs. So that is the stock market synth. Thank you so much for watching, enjoy.